most of you often say that all I do is cook fancy smancy but trust me that's not the case at times I take simple ingredients but what can I say I can just style anything right don't forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon as I take cauliflower and mushrooms play around in my skillet and just have some fun the purpose out here is to take the bland, simple flavor that cauliflower brings to an equation and style it up with the umame of mushrooms. So into my cast iron, nice and hot, and my favorite cast iron, goes nearly 25 ml of toasted sesame oil. Now you see I'm adding flavor that is strong and accentuating it to a whole new level with about 8 cloves of garlic. Let me just go ahead and let this nicely burnish and brown. I really, really want it to get nice and brown. Perfectly burnished. In goes four green chilies, finely chopped up because who doesn't like heat, right? As you allow this to saute, you don't want the chilies to burn. So in goes two red onions, finely chopped up. Just swish and stir away. As the onions soften, now in goes one cauliflower that has been cut to uniform pieces. You want them to cook and cook well and you want them to brown and extract all the flavor that the cast iron brings. So swish and stir away. You want this to caramelize so all you need to do is allow this to swish and stir for about 5 to 6 minutes. While the cauliflower did absorb all the brown, crusty flavor that the onion brought, it's now time to take 400 grams of these local mushrooms and throw them in. And this is the second flavor profile. So swish and stir it away. The mushrooms are going to leave a little bit of water, but that's perfectly okay. Seasoning time with some rosemary, lavender, sea salt just to aid in the moisture extraction and some freshly milled black pepper so take that and throw that right in as well while the mushrooms start browning it's now time to take about a cup and a half of some vegetable stock and put that right in just squish it all really well Bubbling and simmering away, at this stage you switch the flame off because don't forget cast irons and residual cooking are really really a thing. So now all this needs is an overload of some finely chopped parsley, nearly about two and a half to three tablespoons. Simple, most definitely yes, but don't be alarmed, this is a Weight Watchers delight vegan in nature and more importantly just dunk it into a bowl sit in front of the telly and dig right in if you want to style it up a notch or two go right ahead and just plate it on top of a toast and put some feta crumble on top i hope you enjoy creating this one with me a simple stylish yet so easy to make that technically it doesn't even warrant a recipe creation don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button Stay safe, stay blessed and don't forget to leave a note below.